Hi, I'm Seymour Duncan, and today we're going to be working on a, a Les Paul guitar, a solid body. Basically, it's two pickups. It has a toggle switch, which activates one or the other pickup, or both. Look over the guitar, make sure everything's okay with it. Look at the fret, see how that's doing. And when you take a guitar apart, um, I have a notebook, which I always draw the schematic. I, I pretty much know where all the parts are going to go out of habit of doing it, but it's best for you guys starting to write down everything that you're going to do so if you make a mistake you can always go back and wire it back the way you originally had it. And the first thing I do too is on the guitar is uh, I'm going to remove the strings but what I always do is I loosen them because you don't want to cut the strings or if you want to keep the strings you know replace them but these I'm going to change out. These are pretty old rusted strings. Now, very important before you do anything with the guitar, make sure like this loose tailpiece, you remove it because when you turn it over, it can smack on the guitar or remove it. And I always remove the bridge part too. So, okay, I'm going to make look at the guitar, make sure nothing's loose here that's going to fall off so when I flip it over. And I just like putting a little piece of tape right over the screws so when you, you turn it or if it rubs against the bench, it's not going to change. So you get the, the height back to where it originally was for the player. So, First thing I'm going to do is remove the back of the instrument. Okay, and leave the pickups in. I'm not going to take those out yet. If you look at the front here, this is the volume control for the treble pickup. This is the bass control for the treble pickup. And when it switches up, it'll work the neck pickup. This is the neck pickup and neck pickup tone. So if you're looking at this potentiometer here or this one, we're going to be working on this one right here now that has the long wire. So when you flip it over, you're going to see right here is that potentiometer. What we're going to do is I'm going to start removing this pickup, which is the bridge pickup. And then this other wire here is your the neck pickup that comes in to the number three lug on the volume control here. Sometimes, you know, you may get a cold solder joint or oxidation in between an actual solder joint and it's good to check it. I always use a, a digital ohmmeter and with using this you can actually see. Now what I'm going to do is touch the two potentiometer casings and it should go to zero. And right there, see I'm getting a solid continuity so that's really good. So you hold the wire here and then you hit the number three terminal to remove the lead pickup. See, it comes out quite easily. You gotta sometimes look at it because there may be a lot of flashing actually on the uh, the wire here and that can make it difficult to get it through. It may snag or catch on another piece of wire. So a little trick what I do is sometimes take a little piece of masking tape and I'll put it right in front of the, the solder terminal here and I'll wrap this around real tight and as I do that it'll give a smooth surface on it and it'll make it smooth. So when you pull it through uh, it won't snag up or uh, be held up on anything. So that's just a little, little quick tip. That's why I should always wear glasses too because this stuff when you pull it it could really... There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the bridge pickup. Okay, as you lift you can look inside the cavity so you just pull it through, lift it up a little bit so there's no snag. See, it comes out real nice and easy. What we have now is we have the guitar ready to install new pickups. We're going to put this one back in. And always make sure you have the proper angle of the mounting ring. It's usually thicker as it goes towards the bridge. So you want the thick side on the right hand side and you want the uh, thin side closer to the fingerboard area here. And then I'm going to feed it through and keep the wire straight and make sure you don't have any snags and you're going to keep pushing it through. Now I'm going to turn the guitar over very carefully. Hold on to it and see if I can see the wire coming through yet. I can see it down there. There we go. Start pulling it through. Just pull it a little bit just so you got enough to grab it when you do it. So hold that up and then you grab it from the other side and pull it through. Now what you want to do too is you want to screw the pickup back in with the mounting ring because if you don't, if you turn the guitar over, it'll flop out. Uh, the legs can hit the body, you can uh, scratch it, it can put a ding in it. Now here's the bridge pickup. And make sure that you have the adjustable side towards the thick side because when it's put in, it's going to be going this way. So you want this next to the bridge. And that's how traditionally they did it. 
Okay, now again, put your screws back in. What I do is I always just use my little rag here again. Clean all your fingerprints off and get all your smudges out of it and everything and it just makes it look good. Uh, usually I unsolder from the potentiometer area first and then I pull the wire out. But in this case what I'm going to do is cut the wire to length uh, and then insert it into the number three lugs on each potentiometer. Now what I'm going to do is get a good measurement, just leave a little flexibility uh, just for habit, you know, you just do it. Then usually on this type of wire, after you, you trim it, you can just shove back the sleeving just about oh, three-eighths of an inch to a half inch, and then keep pushing it up out of the way. And then I twist it, and it keeps it a little bit tight around the cloth braid on this particular wire. Cut just a little bit off the tip and twist it. Make sure you're using pretty sharp cutters and then make sure you're using like this says 22 gauge so I'm using actual last hole on your cutter here for this particular gauge wire. This is 22 gauge wire that we're using. Okay. There we go. That's all I yeah. That's all I do. Get back. You need your needle nose because you don't want to burn your fingers or this gets very hot. Hold it down in there. And we're going to number three lug again on the volume control. There we go. Now we're going to check continuity. Make sure we got something that's 8.5 and 7.6. The potentiometers, you know, you check them, you spray them with a little bit of Krylon contact cleaner, and it works pretty good. Now I'm going to put the back back on. Anyway, that's about it. We've got the pickups in. What I like doing, instead of putting the string in this way, here's the way a lot of guys do it. They'll put it here, and then they'll start cranking it like a hundred times. So. It's going to put more wear and tear on the actual gears. So what I enjoy doing is I hold it and I wrap it around three times like this. So it works out pretty good. And then I'll hold it pretty tight. I mean, you can hold it pretty, pretty firmly and put it through. Okay, now we've got the strings all put on. And I'm going to show you how I adjust the pickups to the actual string and the height. I check to make sure the the frets and everything are good. I look at the string height for what the person wants. And then what I do is I, I hold down the, the top E string and the low E string. And I look where I have a depth here. I have about, oh, about 200,000. So it's a little over, about a little over 16th inch. So that would be a point oh sixty two, I should say. Bridge side looks pretty good. I'm going to bring the bridge up maybe a hair. So the bridge is pretty low here. I, I usually keep that pretty pretty close too. I like getting the screws pretty flush with the top of the cover. Then as I press the high string I bring that up to about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, right about there. And the base side I bring up pretty high too. Okay, as long as you're not hitting, see that sounds fine right there.